Hi everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. If you're new, welcome back. If you're returning, this reading is for all Sagittarius in the universe, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Messages may or may not resonate. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. So we have messages here, so we can jump straight into your reading. I'd like to thank you all for watching. So we've got let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally, trust, the situation is calling for you to have faith, worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life, and very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, lovely, and also messages from the Oracle deck, we've got get more information communicate clearly and take action okay lovely so let's get some tarot tap into the energy surrounding your current situation right now please remember energies are vice versa or interchangeable there is no gender in tarot it's all just energy so please take the messages as it resonates for you and your situation so we've got the Empress, Libra and Taurus energy, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, Clarify with Judgment, the Sun, Leo energy, Knight of Swords, and that's clarified with the Queen of Cups, the Devil, Capricorn energy, and the Moon, Pisces energy. Okay, so there's a lot of um, major arcanas here. So, yeah, so spirit is really working for us here in this reading. So much major arcanas to judgment, empress, sun, devil, moon. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Massive transformation is taking place here. Yeah, I can see that uh, this is a situation where you have a very intense connection with someone here and this is someone that you have pulled your energy back from we've got the empress in reverse so, so i can see you are in your self-love energy right now focus on your self-love and self-care you may have your boundaries up with this person here at this point some of you, you may have blocked this person. They may be blocked. If you haven't blocked them, then they feel blocked energetically from you. You have withdrew from this person. And whether you know it or not, it really cut deep. You've got the Ten of Swords, yeah? It's cutting deep for this person here. Ten of Swords. So, I feel like this is someone... This is someone that has deep feelings for you here, but they just wasn't keeping it real. Seven of Swords, they were operating in this Seven of Swords energy, you know, being deceptive, playing mind games, using manipulation, yeah, to get a one-up, to, to be on top, and they weren't keeping it real. They weren't keeping it real. So I feel, hence why you pull back from this situation here, I feel like... Yeah, we've got Queen of Cups in reverse as well. Yeah, I feel like the situation may have been draining. It was getting to the point where it was emotionally draining. This person just was not opening up. They were shut down emotionally. They never really opened up to you emotionally, where you may have been, you know, showing them love and attention. They, um, they were just playing games and using it against you. And it was just getting draining. So now... You'll focus on your self-love and your self-care. And you pull back from this person. You stop giving them your love and attention. It cut them deep, you know. It's really, like, shook them up. I feel, if, I feel like it woke up the fact that they really do have feelings for you here. Judgment. Because we've got judgment here. 
we have judgment. It woke them up. He woke them up to the truth. This is what I'm getting. Yeah. So. I feel like they are going through a period right now of recovery. Because Ten of Swords in reverse. I feel like this person is recovering from the heartache, from the pain, from the painful past. Yeah. And they're trying to look at the bright side of things. We've got the sun here. So. Leo energy, strong, powerful um, energy here. I feel like this person is really looking at the bright side of things, yeah? And they are focused on positive and creating, you know, more positive opportunities in their life right now because there's a massive transformation going on here. You've really caused this person to really evaluate themselves, evaluate their life. And, uh, yeah, I feel like they're starting to see things differently now with that sun energy. Definitely, because I feel now they want to keep things real with you. We've got Seven of Swords in reverse. They want to come out of this deceptive energy now. And they actually want to keep things real. I don't feel like this person wants to keep pretending anymore I feel like they were putting on a front like they didn't care about you and it was just all games and it's not getting them anywhere it didn't get them anywhere it just brought them down it came it made this person yeah it made this person really depressed you weren't getting them anywhere the games backfired on them because you stopped playing and now they want to keep it real. They want to keep it real now. They, they they know they messed up. They lost out on a good thing here. They want to take action. Knight of Swords. This person wants to come in. Take action here towards you. Yeah. Open up communication most probably. I can see they go back and forth in their head about it. Knight of Swords in reverse. So I feel like they do change their mind a lot. One minute they want to rush in, next minute they hold back, you know. <laughs> We've got the moon here, so they may have fears, I feel like. There's a lot of anxiety and fears when it comes to taking action here towards you. Yeah, I feel like this person really has to had to work on their toxic behaviours. And toxic patterns they had going on in their life. I feel like they even had um, toxic karmic situations they were attach attached to as well with this devil energy. You know, for some of you, they may have tried to keep you in this third party situation, which is why you withdrew as well. It was toxic. So the devil in reverse is good. This shows this person is detaching from their unhealthy ways and unhealthy attachments. And they're leveling up. They're growing. They're transforming. Yeah. You must really mean a lot to this person because... Because whether you know it or not, this person really misses you and the fact that you are not in this person's life or you're not giving them your love and attention anymore, your energy, it's just changing up the whole game here. This is what I'm getting. It's changing up the whole game. Someone's realised they need to um, let go of their toxic ways, their mind games, manipulation, their ego... Let go of the controls, you know. I feel like this was a this is someone that was um had to be in control. They were very controlling. They tried to control the situation by using emotional manipulation here. This is why Queen of Cups is in reverse. You got your boundaries up because this person was draining you emotionally. They may have had emotional baggage and they were just putting it on you. And this is why you felt so drained, you know. So it's time to let go. This is what's happening. There's been an enlightenment here, spiritual enlightenment here. This person realised it's time to let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally and have trust, have faith. Situation is calling for you to have faith. 
So this is what's happening here. There's a transformation taking place here. So this person started to see things um, positively now. This is what I'm getting. They're starting to have more trust in themselves and in what's really going on. They started to see the truth of the matter. And these events that's taking place and why this is all happening for them. There's a reason for everything. You know, because I really feel spirit stepped in for you guys as well. For you guys to pull back your energy because this was a toxic situation. So this was something that was spiritually guided here. Definitely. Yeah, when you dig deeper, we've got the hermit. Virgo energy. So... I'm telling you, spiritual guidance here. This is someone that's going within. Deep soul searching. Deep soul searching. Connecting with their higher self. Yeah, six of cups. And ten of cups. Wow. Yeah, deep down when they connect with their inner selves and deep down when they search and dig under the surface, it's, it's all about this Ten of Cups with you. I mean, this person can't stop thinking about you here. I'm telling you, this person misses you. They miss your energy and they miss your love and attention. And they realise, you know, they really want a life with you. A life of abundance, a loving relationship yeah, possibly family. Yeah, something long term. Something long term. Ten of Cups. I'm telling you, they can't stop thinking about you here. Six of Cups here. This is, um, you know, nostalgia. Someone from your past. Memories from the past. Wanting the good times back. You know, this is someone that really <laughs> misses you. It cut them deep. It cut deep. It cut them deep when you um, turn your back on them or you walked out their life or however it ended. It really cut this person deep. And now they realise that you are the one, you are the love of their life. Really, when it's all said and done, when they're searching their intuition here, the moon energy, when they dig deep into their subconscious and connect the intuition it's all about you yeah it's all about you we got the death card dig a bit deeper we got death energy scorpio energy some of you may have water in your chart scorpio we've got queen of cups here and death or you may have cancer or pisces in your chart but yeah Major changes with this death energy. I'm telling you, massive transformation. Massive transformation. Spirit is really stepping in here. Spirit is really stepping in with this situation here. Two of cups. Wow. Thank you, spirit. Two of cups. Wow. Massive transformation. Big happy changes. This person wants this two of cups with you. They want commitment. Yeah. Oh, this person. Oh, four of wands as well. Yeah. If you guys are single, if you're single, then you may not be single for long. If you want this person, you may not be single for long. Because um, this person's got vision. Four of wands as well. Stable, committed relationships. Something solid and stable, you know. This is what this person wants to create with you. Wow. When it's all said and done, they want to keep it real and come out, come out of the dark and step into the light. Yeah. And keep it real with you. That they really see you as the one for them. When it's all said and done. I feel like they're putting away their childish ways. They're putting away their player ways. Getting rid of karmic situations. Getting rid of negative thoughts and insecurities. And uh, yeah, I feel like they are levelling up to, to give you the love that you deserve. I mean, if you're waiting for this person, um, Spirit wants you to know it's worth waiting for. 
divine timing is at work in your love life. It may be worth it if you're waiting for this person. And it's worth it because I, I can see um major transformation here. Spiritual growth and transformation is taking place. Yeah, we got very soon. Very soon as well. Very soon, which leads us to this card here that came out. Take action. So it says the time has come to take action. Your angels are waiting for you to take the next step so that they can assist you along the path to your dreams. Do away with procrastination and uncertainty in your heart. You know what to do. Get going. Wow. I'm telling you, we've got Knight of Swords here. So yeah, I feel like someone really is getting ready to take action here. They're gearing up to take action. They really want this with you. Someone really wants you here. Yeah, they're getting ready to take action here. I'm telling you, very soon. We got very soon. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, I feel like if you do hear from this person soon, it brings us to this card here, communicate clearly. So, I feel like this person wants to talk to you here, or maybe you want to talk to them. If not, whatever you want, you've got to communicate clearly with each other. So, it says, this situation requires very precise and careful communication. Don't assume that others involved understand what you want or need from them. In-person discussions are preferable, preferable, but if it's not possible... Make sure that your communication method is very thorough. This card can indicate that there has been a miscommunication that is creating a challenge for the parties involved. By clearing up any misunderstandings, you can heal the situation so that everyone can start moving forward again. Lovely, beautiful. So yeah, that is the guidance here. Communicate clearly. So that is important. Communication is the key to starting a healthy relationship here. Very important to communicate clearly about what you want, what you expect. Yeah. Get, get things off on the right foot. So it leads us to this next card here. Get more information. So the situation, this situation requires more information in order for you to make a wise decision. So approach those that are knowledgeable about the topic to get their advice. If there are friends or family members in your midst who have insight into the matter, ask for their observations. You may need to do some research in order to get the data you need. This could include reading books or taking classes or gathering information from the internet. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like, I mean, there are a lot of um, resources, videos and books on how to, um, you know, gain more self-esteem, get more confidence, gain more self-confidence, you know, get in touch with your intuition, know who you are, what you want and how to get it. So, yeah, I mean, all will be well, it looks like here. I don't think there's anything to worry about, really. So if you are waiting for this person, then yeah. Spirit is on your side here. The universe is on your side. You guys will be able to work it out. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Big happy changes. Yeah. I can see massive transformation taking place here, you guys. So yeah, I hope this reading resonates. It's a lovely reading. I like to leave it here and thank you all for watching. And I wish you all the best in this situation here. So yeah, good luck guys. Good luck. Leave a comment, click the like button. And until the next time, take care. I'll see you all real soon. Bye for now.